All right, hello everyone. I know what you're gonna say. We haven't uploaded in like two years. Well, I'm gonna completely disregard everything you're about to say, and I'm just gonna make this video. So today, I am gonna show you how to play Genji on Overwatch and how to become a true. Um, at, I'm gonna say he's Asian, but I don't want to get racist. Um, I'm gonna show you how to play an Asian man. All right. So little known fact, Genji was actually going to be a Warframe hero. Um, but he failed and was not hired for the job. So he wandered the world and practiced his parkour skills until he was hired for Overwatch. All right, so step one. All right, you gotta jump, you gotta climb, you gotta run all over, you gotta go like crazy. Okay, that's the number one tactical advantage. Like this, this giant golden statue, do I need to climb it? No, am I going to? Yes, did it help me? Probably not, but hey, I'm on top of a golden statue. No one else can do that. Just be careful where you're jumping. Unless you're special like me, then you just run into a wall. Yeah, that's cool. Um, however, you, you gotta remember what character you are. I mean, say you are a 2,000 pound gorilla. Damn it. Doesn't, doesn't work too great. However, when you're fighting fat people, like this guy right here, uh, you just run away from him really fast. He's got those short, stubby little fat legs. And they'll never catch up to you with those chicken thighs. So you just keep running, keep running. And then, boom! You escaped him. You escaped his chains and whips. So this brings us to step two. Hug everybody. That means big guys, that means little guys, tanks, whatever. Just hug them all. So in the Overwatch world, everyone hates Genji. Because he's smelly. So whenever you hug someone... People get hurt and they die. That's why you just gotta do it all the time. Uh, you have to know how to jump and you have to know how to be the little Spider-Man rabbit. Uh, or else it just doesn't work. And you look stupid running into walls like I normally do. You can just run through people, run through groups of people. You can run through shields because those don't matter anymore. You can jump down on people like a praying spider monkey. Um, you know, just whenever you float your boat, you can, you can attack someone and pin them up against the wall. Any, anything works. It pisses a lot of people off, but it's great. My favorite is to just confuse the hell out of people and play tag with them. You know, I like to you run up and hug people, and then they tag you with bullets. So, it works out. And you just confuse them and drive them around in circles. Um, until you don't have to do it with yourself anymore, and you run away. Alright, and so for the people who play Overwatch, you're probably just like, why don't you just use the shurikens? Well, because they're like throwing paper shurikens at people. It just pisses everyone off. It doesn't actually do anything. You don't get anything done. You just throw them at people, and then eventually you get the shit beat out of you with a hammer. What I do instead of that is I just run around until I find someone, and I just grab my knife, and I just start stabbing them, punching them in the dick. And eventually they'll die, or someone will kill me and ruin the fun, like always. It always has to ruin the fun. Um, you do have another weapon. You have a sword. Um, you're probably asking, why don't you just use the sword? Uh, because shut the hell up. You don't know what you're talking about. Potatoes are people too. Okay. Um, you can also slice grenades. I don't know how that works, but you can just reflect grenades back at people. You just pull out your little tiny sword and shove it right back at him. Okay. Whatever. With all of those things put together, you can probably do this sort of MLG thing just like me. Conclude and thank you for watching and I hope that helped but it probably didn't survive. So